Hey everyone, all right, so I'm in beautiful Tbilisi, Georgia right now. No, not the US Georgia. There's actually another Georgia and it's very pretty. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna go over some of the most important news coming out of Bitcoin right now, uh, even during this drop that we're having. Uh, but first, please like and subscribe and check us down below for our CT Club where we get our trade alerts, portfolio updates, Discord, and a great community. And we get to sh help you, guide you through uh, buying the dip. Okay, so now 6,286 coins of Bitcoin, Bitcoin were transferred out of Coinbase onto hardware wallets or cold storage. So that's $248 million. That's, that was yesterday. Now, these are people, big money, that are buying the dip and, and taking it off exchanges because there are no way they're going to be selling. All right, so another one. Okay, so we are at an all-time high of Bitcoin, um, of, pe uh, of people not selling their Bitcoin for over a year. It's at, I think, 64.8% now. That number is growing by the week, which is, it just shows you that big money is dollar cost averaging buying Bitcoin and holding, that's it. And they've been doing that for a long time now. And that number I think is going to continue on growing as you can see. All right, so I'm gonna go over the dollar index right now. So the dollar index is what people, people are freaking out about. Uh, they're saying the dollar is gonna go, it's all time high, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna destroy the market. Here's my counter argument to that. Okay, so the last time the dollar, the DXY, which is the dollar index was uh, this strong, Bitcoin was at $6,685. Now what are we at? 38,600 or something like that? And the dollar has grown strong, this much stronger? You know, I mean, just think about that way and, and let all the people that are just putting fear in your head, I would just kick that out because it's kind of meaningless in my opinion. Um, I think regardless of what the dollar does in the long run, it doesn't matter. They're printing so much currency. You you can't even under you can't even wrap your head around how much currency they're printing, and they were going to continue on printing. Okay, next up, I think as far as printing is concerned, we haven't seen anything yet. Plus, I think the market, especially the broader market, has understood that the Fed is full of hot air. They're not going to be able to raise interest rates in any meaningful way, and there's nothing to worry about. Like I've been saying for months now, uh, since ever this was ever a concern, that's meaningless. Rate hikes are completely meaningless. Go for it. Let them go for it. Have fun. Have, have all the fun you want, Federal Reserve. You can't do anything to control inflation, it's, it's finished. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over Bitcoin and its growth over the past 12 years, okay? I'm gonna compare it really quick. So Bitcoin reached a $1 trillion market cap in 12 years. It took Microsoft 44 years. It took Apple 42 years to do that. It took Amazon 24 years to do that. Google 21 years and Tesla 18 years to do that. That's because Bitcoin is the hardest money. It's the most important financial evolution the world has ever seen. And that's why so much money is being poured into Bitcoin. Okay, next up, people are freaked out about the broader market. Okay, the broader market's down this year to date, 8.95%. Uh, what are people scared of? The Fed is not gonna print more currency? Of course they will. This is, it's laughable. And lastly, I wanna go over, uh, usually when Bitcoin crashes, it doesn't have a slow bleed off. It usually, it happens when least expected. And I, and I see that right now. I don't see it going to 19,000, 12,000, whatever these people are saying. You know what, I, I would hope there's a capitulation because our CT members are gonna buy the dip. But anyways, that's all I have. Don't panic. I wouldn't worry. Dollar cost average, you're going to be fine in the long run. Talk to you soon.